Well, Toner has done it again. They've introduced a new dynamic cardioid microphone that has a big sound, but a little price. Toner sent this mic to me for an honest review. And as always, it will be my experience and opinion and your comments. We'll unbox it, check out all the features, take a listen. We'll check its off-axis rejection. We'll see what it sounds like straight out of the box and then with some processing. So let's crack open the box and see what comes inside with this mic. Typically, Toner doesn't spend a bunch of money on the outside of the box. They put that quality on the inside. One of the most overlooked things in every box is the manual. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the contents. This is the TD310 dynamic plug and play mic. And as usual, this doesn't feel like a budget microphone. It's, it's not metal on the outside, but it is solid. At first glance, this looks like a USB-C to USB-C. Take off the adapter and you have your regular USB to USB-C. Thank you, Toner. That's clever and much needed for plugging directly into a smartphone or computer. And it's plenty long. It's six and a half feet. Here's the foam cover. Uh, nothing exceptional here, but it will do the job of containing those plosives. The microphone clamp comes with a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter. Good call, Toner. Hmm, now what could this be for? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Hidden under here looks like a base for a mic stand. Yep, that's exactly what this is for. It's a solid piece of metal. Now we'll screw this into that, and you now have a mic stand to place your clamp on. Okay, here we have the TD310 all set up. It's plugged directly into my Mac Mini M1. And this is what it sounds like uh, with no processing straight out of the box. I'm monitoring it on my headphones and it's plugged directly into the back of the microphone as you can um, see here. And I'm going to tell you, it sounds good. Honestly, uh, there is zero latency. My mouth is about three inches away. Uh, let's see how far I can get back. So now I'm about a foot away. So that's what it sounds like. Actually, you should be anywhere from two to four inches away uh, from the microphone for it to sound its best. Right now I have it with the, um, with the uh, foam cover on and this is with the foam cover off and we'll check our plosives after a while. Okay, so let's check out some of the cool features that make this a great mic for gaming, streaming, and uh, podcasting and the like. The TD310 USB microphone for PC offers five lighting modes, uh, breathing, cycling, gradient, flow, and lights off. And those lights will really help match up your gaming setup to create a really cool gaming atmosphere. Now, long pressing by, uh, let's say two seconds, where am I here? Two seconds will change the different modes. Oh, I actually, actually turned off the mode, so let's turn it back on. Okay. So holding it for two seconds will change the different modes, as you can see. So there you go. That's pretty cool. That, that's going to look good on... Uh, oh, so if you hold it down long enough, you're going to turn it off. Now, once again, remember, uh, one quick press on this is... And you don't want to do that unless you mean to. Uh, my wife would love to have uh, me have a mute button but uh, we can't afford the upgrade. Oh, and yes, by the way, you can uh, increase your volume and you can decrease your volume right here, uh, right on the microphone. But anyway, muting is really a good thing. It's ideal for gaming, live streaming, podcasting, and more. Just a note, it's compatible with PS4 and PS5 and Switch, but not Xbox. Okay, so let's check the off-axis rejection. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. You know, that's pretty good. It's the cardioid pickup pattern that reduces that off access noise. But I will tell you the noise we're picking up here is a lot. So be really careful when you've got this on a stand. Uh, I would suggest if you get a, um, a boom arm or even a low profile arm like this, you know, if you can go ahead. But if you have to have it on your desk, just be careful. This is the TD310 without processing. And now I'm going to uh, go over here to DaVinci Resolve and add just a little bit of processing. Let's see what it sounds like, hold on. Okay, 
This is what the Toner TD310 sounds like with a little processing. Testing one, two, three. I don't know. Can you tell a difference? Let's do a quick plosive test. I think we just did it. Plosive test. I don't have to do Peter Piper picks up pick pickled peppers because um, you have to be careful with that. But that's why you have this little foam cap here. Put it on. Let's try Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Yeah, that's a lot better. There you go again. I uh, got to be careful with those noises on the desk. But can you hear a difference? Let me keep this on here so I don't pop everybody. Can you hear a difference? Can you hear the difference between uh, right out of the box with no processing and the difference with a little processing? So here are my final thoughts. I would consider this mic as an entry level mic with a professional sound. I believe the TD310 with its user-friendly design makes it a great choice for beginners, whether it's for gaming, live streaming, or podcasting, or, or even if you've been in social media for a while and you're just looking to upgrade your mic without breaking the bank. This all-in-one pack bundle includes everything you need to kickstart your recording journey, a dynamic microphone, a microphone clamp, a desktop microphone stand, a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter, a six and a half foot, two meter long USB cable. It's a USB to USB-C with that USB-C adapter, a foam cover, and of course, a user's manual. I have links in the description below if you want to check it out some more. And really, thanks to Toner again for sending this mic out for my honest review and opinion. And if you found this review helpful, please subscribe and follow for more videos just like this. Hey, thanks for taking a few minutes with this old video guy. And we'll see you next time. Uh, don't hit your desk when you got this mic on like this.